Here is undeniable proof that a goat's favorite thing to do is get its dumb ass stuck in a fence. Wherever there's fence, there's a goat trying to get deeper into it. I'm sure in a little while, they'll be calling me for a bailout package. Because another thing a goat's terrible at is reverse. They're good at forward. They're bad at going in reverse. What are you dummies doing? Getting yourself dug in here. So, Diane here is the most stupid head stuck in the fence goat ever. Not you, dummy. <laughs> your offspring. Get out of my way, pee pee face. Now, this is the brother, and his horns are too big for it, but he just isn't inclined. Now, this one, a six by six cattle fence, she sticks her head through it all the time and then gets stuck. <laughs> right, stupid? Huh? Huh, Diane? I just got you out of here like an hour ago, didn't I? So this hot wire, right now it's not on. If it was, she'd be in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> but she sticks her head through that damn fence and then screams every time she's stuck. She's actually at a point of being calm about it because I keep getting her out of it. So if you're going to run six by six fence, you had better plan on backing it up with two strands of hot wire. One down low, one up high. It's not about the goat digging under the fence or jumping over the fence. It's about keeping them from trying to eat through the fence. Um, and you're going to want to run a six inch standoff or five inch. I think that's a five inch standoff for T-posts. Mind the direction of your T-posts when you buy these because there's front side and back side. Um, so if somebody put in all your T-posts different, then that's going to give you some grief. But if you run one about 10, 12 inches off the ground and another about 12 inches up from that, that will make it where the goat gets whacked before it gets its head stuck through. And uh, you only need, I mean, you can see it doesn't, there's one right there, one right there. These standoffs are about 40, 50 feet apart. You don't have to put them every post. I see that a lot. There's, there's absolutely no reason for it. In fact, I think you're better having a good amount of flexibility so that when the goat steps on that wire or something lands on that wire, it doesn't, um, it doesn't snap off the post. Because I do turn off the fence. Right now it's off. I do turn off the fence so that they can clear the brush and the, the vegetation from it. She's just too good at reaching through for what's on the other side. Even though this paddock has plenty of get out of here this paddock has plenty of stuff to eat in it she's just a grass is greener on the other side type of girl and i'm getting tired of this so i'm about to turn the fence back on <laughs>